Alicia from Nature Pacific and we are so excited to be working with Cairns Regional Council and the first Five Forever initiative. Today we will be diving into the wonderful world of water bugs. We're going to talk about water bugs as indicators for health of the water. That means they tell us whether the water is healthy or unhealthy. Here are some of the water bugs that we may or may not see today. There's so many water bugs and there's so many bugs that start their life or their life cycle in the water. You might notice three different colors. The water bugs up top are in the green section. The water bugs down the bottom are in the red section. I like to think of the green bugs as the princes and princesses. These water bugs don't like it when the water is unhealthy or polluted. So what do you think these water bugs are like? Do you think they're sensitive or do you think they're tough? Have a think. Did you guess tough? They sure are. These ones up here are sensitive and these ones down here are tough. It's not good when the water is unhealthy or polluted, but they can handle it if it's a little bit unhealthy. You're probably wondering about these bugs in the middle, in the brown section. These ones, well, they're kind of in between. They're a little bit sensitive and they're a little bit tough. So, if you see lots of these sensitive water bugs, what does that tell you about the water? Do you think the water is healthy or unhealthy? What do you think? Do you think it's healthy? I think you're right. This is an indicator. This tells us that the water is healthy if the sensitive bugs are living here in this waterway. Let's have a close up look at some of the bugs that we may see today. This one here is called a dragonfly larva. Now larva means baby. Not to be confused with the stuff that spews out of a volcano, larva means baby. And if there's more than one dragonfly larva, we say larvae. Larva for one, larvae for two or more dragonfly larva. What do you think a dragonfly larva turns into? There's a clue in the name. Dragonfly larva. Let's have a look. A beautiful dragonfly. Remember I said that many water bugs start their life or their life cycle in the water. So the dragonfly didn't always look like this. It goes through a life cycle. The dragonfly lays an egg and then the dragonfly larva hatches. This is the baby. And the dragonfly, this is the adult. Let's have a look at some other water bugs that we may see today. This one here is called the damselfly larva. Do you think you know what the damselfly larva turns into? very similar to a dragonfly. It's called a damselfly. But I want to tell you about these three things here. One, two, three, on the bottom of the damselfly larva. These are gills. You know how fish have gills on their face for breathing? And we breathe out of our lungs. Can you take a big deep breath with me? Ready, breathe in and out through your lungs. Fish don't have lungs, they have gills. Damselfly larva don't have lungs, they have gills. And there they are there, one, two, three, on their bottom. 
that means they breathe out of there. Do you know many water bugs actually breathe out of their bottoms? Actually, the dragonfly larva did it too. He's got little gills that go in and out of his bottom. Oh, this one's pretty cool. This is one of my favourites. He's called the water boatman. They don't go through a life cycle. This is what they look like. The small ones are the babies and the big ones are the adults. And just as the name tells you, he's got really big arms like oars on a boat. And he's really good at row, row, rowing his boat. Do you know that song? Can you show me your big arms? Pretend they're oars on a boat. And can you sing a song about rowing your boat with me? Ready? Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Row, 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 This one's got big arms too, but it's called a back swimmer. Do you think he's good at breaststroke or freestyle or back swimming? Did you guess back swimming? Yeah, he is called a back swimmer because he lies on his back and he is very good at back swimming. This one is so special. You are so lucky if you see a caddisfly larva. If you see a stick walking around, that's not a stick with legs. That's a caddisfly larva hiding in a stick. You know how some animals hide in a shell, like crabs and snails. They hide to protect themselves from predators. Well, that's exactly what the caddisfly larva is doing. He's hiding for predators by hiding in a stick or a leaf and they go through a life cycle. The name is a bit of a clue. What do you think the caddisfly larva turns into? You've probably never seen one before, but this is what a caddisfly looks like. A beautiful caddisfly. And the last one that we might see today, you might recognize this one as a shrimp or a prawn. Well, this is a shrimp that lives in the fresh water, different to the saltwater ocean. All of these water bugs today live in fresh water, just like this lake. And if we see some of these water bugs, it tells us that the water is healthy and unpolluted. That's how we like our water bug to be. For the water bugs, the animals, and for us. And now it's time to go water bugging. Make sure you do this activity with a teacher or a parent. You will need something for your feet. These boots here just won't do. What are some boots that we can use that can get wet? Any ideas? Uh -huh. I've got something here. Get some water boots or some gum boots on your feet. Second thing we need is a bucket, a nice clean bucket. How are we going to scoop those water bugs out? How do I get the water and the bugs into the bucket? What do you think? What do we need? Aha! Uh -huh. A scoop. A paddle scoop is very good for water bugging. Make sure you scoop back and forth back and forth in the water. Leave your bucket in the water, tap them in. So take the bucket in the water with you. And you don't need to go too deep. All you need to do is go up to your shins, around about here, and do the water bug shuffle. 
Next up, we're going to do the water bug shuffle with some kids. I hope you join in on the water bug shuffle. Wasn't that fun doing the water bug shuffle and going water bugging? You can help water bugs and other animals and yourself by looking after our waterways. We need to keep them healthy and unpolluted. What can we do to keep waterways healthy and unpolluted? Hmm. I know we should put our rubbish somewhere. Where should we put our rubbish? In the bin? I hope so. All of your rubbish should go in the bin. And chemicals. Chemicals are things that we can use to spray pests in the garden or clean around the house. And it's very important that we don't put those chemicals down the sink or down the drain because those sinks and those drains, they lead through the pipes to the waterways like this lake and creeks and our rivers and our oceans. And it's so important for water bugs and animals, but us too, that we have healthy water to drink. Thanks so much for joining us today. We hope you had fun and we hope you learned something too. So thank you from us here at Natura Pacific, Cairns Regional Council and First Five Forever Initiative. Thank you. See you next time.